Good morning, church. Good morning to all of you. Welcome back to our devotion, our daily devotion insights. Today, I want to share with you a, a short devotion on we are any everything or nothing. We are everything or nothing. All right. And uh, in Psalms chapter 8, verses 4 and 5, follow me as I read. Go this way. What is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. What do I mean by we are everything or nothing? You see, pride is a terrible sin. We are instructed in God's word not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to. Why? Sometimes we think that we are everything. We Everybody has to focus on this. We are the best. We are the number one. No one else is better than us. We always look at ourselves. Or in the eyes of God, we are nothing. So we want to learn a little bit today as I start off the day with you. All right. And it says here, what is mankind that God is mindful of us? Human being that God cares for us. You know, and God has made us a little bit lower than the angels and crown us with glory. Sometimes we take pride. We are everything. Everybody has to give priority to us. And that is dangerous. And it can also, at the same time, when we misinterpret the scripture, it can create pride. And pride is a terrible sin. You know, uh, don't overthink who we are in Christ. The Bible tells us pride is a terrible sin. All right. And uh, look at Romans chapter 12, verse 3. It says, Because of the privilege of grace and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves. Me- measuring yourself by the faith God has given you. That doesn't mean... We need to have a bad example, a bad, uh, we need to have a bad opinion, fall off and look down on ourselves. It doesn't mean that we are to remember that we are no better than anyone else or whatever God has enabled us to do is they are gift. So therefore, we are nothing. We are hopeless. We are useless. We are good for nothing. You know, we have no more right to claim credit for special abilities, special gifting, special uh, uh, talent that we have, you know, uh, and think that we are the blue eye boy. We are the special one in the eyes of God and everyone else are not great. You know, Paul wrote to the church in Korean and asked them what they had that did not come from God as a gift. The Bible tells us in Romans shows that everything that we have, whoever we are, all our gifting, all our ability, it all comes from God. But it did not mean that we are good for nothing. It doesn't mean we have no value in the eyes of God. Look at what uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 says. It goes this way. For who makes you different from anyone else? Who do you have what do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not have? You know, when, when we are warned, right? When we are warned not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to, it means this. We are to realize, all right? We are to realize that we are nothing apart from Jesus, And without Him, we can do nothing. That's what it means. It does not mean that we look down on ourselves. It does not mean that we we, we are good for nothing. But what is meant is this. We need to realize, apart from Jesus and without Him, we are nothing and we can do nothing. But the value we found in Christ as our Savior and our Lord, we can celebrate who we are because of Him. Who we are because of Him. We celebrate who we are in Jesus in a way of celebrating Jesus Himself. You see, when we celebrate, uh, I can do this, I can do that. You know why? It's not because of me. It's not because of us. It's all because of Jesus. Because Jesus empowered me. Jesus loved me. Jesus gave me the wisdom and the ability. I can be whom He want me to be. You know, what makes this a lot more difficult than it needs to be? Is this one simple term? We are everything in Jesus. 
We are everything in Jesus and nothing in ourselves. And I like to say this, I am everything or just nothing. We celebrate because of the amazing work of God in our life, not because of any worth worth we have in ourselves we are who we are because of jesus and i want to tell you when people talk about you when people look down on you don't look at yourself and say oh i'm good for nothing when your parents talk down on you when when things happen not the way you want it to be and everything don't seem to be going the way you are it is going don't look down on yourself and say i am good for nothing god plays a special gift in you and i Note this, as long as we continue giving God the glory for any good that we manifest in our lives and be a blessing to people around us, we are on a safe and right track. Remember this, no matter how great, how intelligent, how capable, how uh, much we can do for God in our lives, it's not because of us, because of Jesus for some reason, religion, listen for a while, for some region, reason, religion has taught people that to be godly, they must have a low or even bad opinion of themselves. And I believe this kind of thinking has done incalculable damage in our lives to the plan of God for us. As long as we know we are lower than God, He is always our chief, He is always our head, then we are safe. Don't think in the whole world, everybody need me. We have to remember, everybody need God. And we can do what we are able to do. We are where we are today. Not so much just because of ourselves, but because of God. Say out loud daily, if you can, starting this morning, I am nothing without Jesus. But in Him and through Him, I am special. I am valuable. I am uh, empowered. I am uh, able. Because you know why? Because of Jesus, I can do great things. So therefore, if you look at ourselves, everything is about ourselves. Everything, all the achievement in our life is because of me. Then we are nothing. In the eyes of God. But we are who we are because of Jesus. So today, let me close with this. Remember this one thing that is very important. If pride get into our way and think that we are everything, then we are nothing. But if Jesus is the cause and reason for who we are and what we have and what we have achieved and what we own, then we are everything in the eyes of God. Alright, don't let people talk down on you, but tell yourself, I am somebody in Christ not in myself. Amen? So as you walk out from your house and go to work, uh, remember this one thing. Because of Jesus, you are who you are. Because of Jesus, you have what you have. Because of Jesus, you achieve what you have achieved. And because of Jesus, you are special in the eyes of God and in the eyes of people. All right? So you have a great day. May you think about it as you walk out of the house and have a great day in the presence of God that you are special in the eyes of God because of Him. Amen. God bless you and have a great, great day.